Hey everyone, James Holst here with In-Depth Outdoors. We're in the studio today and we're taking a close look at one of the two new ice bundles from Hummingbird. The one we have here today is the Mega Live Ice Bundle that comes with the pole system, the Mega Live Transducer, nine inch helix, shuttle, and for the first time, Hummingbird is including a lithium battery as part of their kits. Uh, this one is a 20.8 amp hour lithium battery. That's from Norsk. I'm familiar with their batteries, the 15 amp hour batteries. I haven't used this one as much. I've had great success with them, but I really want to know what the runtime is going to be like out there on the ice. So just to kind of uh, uh, give everybody a feel for what we're doing here with this test, uh, the Mega Live transducer has a wet switch on it. It is in a bucket. It is firing. You can see a little movement at the top there. That's the, the Mega Live display. More importantly than that, I wanted to show you that screen brightness is on 10. And then we're going to come up here. Uh, I'm going to clear out of that. And I'm gonna show you the accessories. We've got GPS running. And again, we've got that mega live transducer connected. Uh, so then to really give us some good information about what the amp draw is as we're running this unit, I've got my multimeter connected here. And uh, I've been tracking the, the minimum amp hour draw and the maximum for about the last 20 minutes as we were setting up this test. So on the minimum, we've got 1.410. And on the maximum, we've got 1.449. So that's a pretty tight range, but as you can see, it does fluctuate. So uh, I noticed that as I was scrolling through the various screens, it really didn't change the amp hour draw that much. So what kind of conclusion can we make with those numbers? If we've got a 1.410 minimum amp hour draw, and we've got a maximum of 1.449 uh, amp hour draw, we add those numbers together, divide by two, we get a nice average of, 1.43 uh, amp hours. Now with a 20.8 amp hour battery, if we divide the draw into the total capacity, we end up with 14.54 hours of nonstop runtime at 100% brightness. Uh, that is a really efficient uh, system as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I think a lot of that uh, conservation of energy comes from the fact that there is no black box in the system. So uh, that will really lend itself to creating a lightweight, portable, and really fun to use uh, live sonar bundle out there on the ice. So I uh, hope you found this useful. If you have any questions, throw them in the comments and we'll see you out there on the ice.